When we think of deserts, we usually think of hot, dry, sandy environments with towering dunes and very little life. Well, this is generally true, but we need to explore what makes these ecosystems and how life can adapt to them. Deserts receive very little rainfall, less than 250 millimetres per year, and without water, life becomes very difficult indeed. Hot deserts are located around 30 degrees north and south of the equator. Air that rose at the equator descends at these latitudes. The air has released its moisture at the tropical rainforests, so it's very dry. This creates high pressure and clear cloud of skies, allowing strong sunlight to create scorching temperatures. Without any cloud cover, nighttime is very cold, with the temperature often dropping below freezing. Desert soils are very sandy and often quite stony. There's very little organic matter in them, but the dry nature of the soil means that when there is rain, water is rapidly soaked in. Due to high temperatures, the water can be quickly evaporated, and this draws more moisture to the surface, along with minerals and salts. The soils are usually not very fertile. Even though the soil isn't very fertile, there's quite a good diversity of plants that have been able to adapt to the harsh conditions. Plants have various adaptations to help them survive in the hot, arid conditions. To help reduce the loss of moisture, plants, like cacti, have thin, waxy leaves or spines. They may have a few long taproots to help reach down into groundwater sources, but will have many shallow, horizontal roots that allow rapid intake of any surface moisture. Water can also be stored in these roots, as well as their stems, leaves or even their fruit. Seeds from these plants can remain dormant for many years, only germinating when there's any form of rain. Animals have also adapted to the harsh conditions. Many are nocturnal, such as the various rodents, and will hide away in burrows during the hot days. The night time is often when the desert comes alive with animal activity. Camels have a number of adaptations, like large padded flat feet that don't sink and can cope with the hot sand. They have long eyelashes that can protect them from the wind whipping up the sand. Their nostrils can close up to prevent sand from entering and they have very leathery mouths to help protect them from the spikes on many desert plants. Their fur will protect them from getting sunburn and the most famous feature is their hump which is a store of fat, not water that they can tap into when food is scarce. Deserts are incredibly harsh environments but life has still managed to survive here through some clever adaptations. Music